Hi, this is part 7 of uh, loops in csharp.net. In this video, I am discussing about, we will write a program to find the sum of first digit and last digit and program to find the sum of middle digits. So, initially, let us assume that I will take one number, something like uh, 7234. Now, I want to find the sum of first digit and last digit. That is 4 and 7. So, I want the output in this format. 7 plus 4. The output must be 11. Is it clear? So, we already know that uh, any number modulus 10 will give us what? Units place number. So, when you read the number 7234. Right? If the number modulus 10, you will get the remainder. So, I will declare one variable int r is equals to. Right, so here you say 7234 modulus 10, you will get what? Unit displaced number that is 4. And uh, here I will declare one more, something like number is equals to number by 1000. You will get what? The first digit. This is a simple logic. So now I will try to write something like, I will declare one more variable, int sum. Sum is equals to r plus what? Number. R, r you will get the last digit number and number and finally you will get first digit number and finally print the sum let us see here console dot right line of here i am printing the sum so let us see how this program will execute initially i have taken what uh, one variable for number and i have taken one more variable for what remainder r and here i have taken one more variable for sum simple logic is it clear so, initially number is how much? 7,234. Number modulus 10. Number is 7,234 modulus 10. Here you can see. Means uh, here you can see. Uh, 10 how many times? 10, 7, 23 times. You will get what? Um, 7, 2, 3, 0. So, the remainder is 4. Right? So, here R is how much? Initial R is 0. Initially, sum is 0. So, here uh, when you execute this statement, R is how much? 4. Right? Now, number is equal to number by 1000. Number by 1000 means the number is how much? 7234 by 1000. So, here 7234. Is it clear? And here I will write something like 1000. 1000 how many times? 7 times. You will get what? 7 0 0 0. Remainder is 234. Is it clear? So the number is how much? 7. So number by 1000 is how much? 7. So here you got the um, first digit number. So now here you can see R is 4. Number is 7. 4 plus 7 you will get the sum. I hope you understood. That is, uh, check the output for this program. Right? So, this is the program to find the sum of first digit and what? Last digit. You can write the same program in different manner. Let so, initially I will declare one variable int number is equal to 7345. So, the sum is 7 plus 5, 12. So, I will declare one variable to store the remainder. Initially, remainder is 0. And I will declare one more variable to store the sum. Initially, sum is 0. Now, uh, as 4 digits are there, I want to find the first digit and last digit. In order to get each and every digit, I want to rotate the loop for uh, 4 times. So, for int i is equals to 1, i less than equals to what? 4, i plus plus. Here, bracket open, bracket close. Now, I want to find the remainder. Number is uh, r is equal to number modulus 10. Is it clear? And in order to remove the number, number is equal to number by 10. In order to find the sum, the logic is sum is equal to sum plus r. In the previous videos, we discussed about how to execute this logic. But here, this logic will work for what? Uh, it will get the sum of 4 digit number. But I want only the first digit and last digit. Is it clear? So, any number modulus 10. Initially, I will write this code here. So, if i double equals to 1 or i double equals to 4, then only I want to execute this code. You see, 
let us execute this program. So initially I will declare some variables like number, like r, remainder, sum and what? i. This is number and this is r to store the remainder. This is sum and this is i. So initially number is 7345. r is 0. Initially sum is 0. Initial i is 1. Right? Now here you can check it out. Now first of all, initial i is 1 means first time we are rotating the loop to get the units place number. Now 1 double equals to 1, true. 1 double equals to 4, false. It will enter. So number modulus 10. Number is how much? 7345 modulus 10. So here you can see. Uh, something like 7345. Right, so 10 how many times? 10, 7, 34 times. How much? 7, 3, 4, 0. Remainder is 5. Is it clear? So here R is how much? 5. Right. Now sum is how much initially? 0. 0 plus 5. How much? 5. So sum is how much? 5. Right. And um, come outside here. Number is a question number by 10. 7345 by 10, you will get what? 734. So, number is how much? 734. Is it clear? Now, i is how much? 2. Means, second time we are rotating the loop. 2 less than equals to 4. True. 2 double equals to 1. False. 2 double equals to 4. False. Come out of the if. So, these two lines of code will not execute. Number is 734. 734 by 10. 734 by 10 means something like this. 734. 10 how many times? 73 times. How much? 730. Remainder is how much? 4. Quotient is how much? 73. So here number is how much? 73. Is it clear? Now uh, i is how much? 3 means third time we are rotating the loop. 3 less than equals to 4. True. i is 3 double equals to 1. False. 3 double equals to 4. False. Number is 73. So, 73 modulus 10. Uh, 73 by 10. Is it clear? Come out of the if. 73 by 10. So, what is numerator? 73. Denominator is 10. Why will use as what? Quotient. Is it clear? So, 10 how many times? 10, 7. How much? 70. Is it clear? So, here you can see. The number is how much? 7. So, here the number is 7. Now, i is how much? 4. Means, 4th time we are rotating the loop. We want to find the sum of first number and last number. Try to understand the question properly. So, 4, uh, four is double equals to 1. False. 4 double equals to 4. True. So, number. Number is how much? 7. 7 modulus 10. 7 modulus 10. So, here you can see like this. 10 and uh, 7. 10, 0. How much? 0. Remainder is what? 7. Right? So, here R is how much? 7. Right? So, sum is how much? 5. 5 plus 7, how much? 12. So, sum is how much? 12. Come outside. Number by 10. 7 by 10 will give us what? 0. So, I use how much? 5. 5 less than equals to 4. Condition is what? False. Come out of the for loop and print what? Sum. Answer is 12. Let us check the output once. I hope you got it. So, whenever you are writing any logical program, there may be several ways that you can get the output. But finally, once when you write the logic, check your logic is working properly or not by just substituting the values. I hope you understood. Now, let us see the program to find the uh, sum of the middle digits. Is it clear? So, I will declare one variable. Int number is equals to 7,324. Now, I will declare one more variable for remainder. Initial r is how much? 0. And declare one more variable for sum. Initial sum is how much? 0. So, you have to rotate the loop how many times? 4 times. Because 4 digits are there. For int i is equals to what? 1. i less than equals to what? 4. i plus plus. I want to rotate the loop for 4 times. And I want to catch the remainder. Only if i double equals to 2 or i double equals to 3 then only i want to find the sum so 
So here R is equal to number modulus 10 and sum is equal to sum plus R. Whenever you, your loop will rotate how many times? 4 times. So 4 times when your loop is rotating, I want to remove what? The identified number. Let us see how it is working. So here you take, I declare one variable for number and one more for what? R reminder and one for what? Sum and one for what? I. Let us see here. This is for number, and this is for R, this is for sum and this is for I. So initial number is how much? 7324. R is how much? 0. Right initial sum is how much? 0. Now I is how much? 1 means first time we are rotating the loop. Now 1 double equals to 2. False. 1 double equals to 3. False. Come outside. Number is equal number by 10. 7324 by 10. So how much? 732. Is it clear? So the number is 732. 732. Now i is how much? 2 means what? Second time we are rotating the loop. So 2 double equals to 2. True. 2 double equals to 3. False. So enter. True false is true. Number is how much? 732. 732 modulus 10. So how much? We will get the remainder as 2. So here r is how much? 2. Is it clear? Now uh, sum is 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. So sum is 2. I hope you understood. Now come outside of the if. Number is 732. 732 by 10. How much? 73. So here number is how much? 73. Is it clear? Now I use how much? 3. Means third time we are rotating the loop to get the third digit. So here you can see. Uh, 3 double equals to 2. False. 3 double equals to 3. True. Enter. Number 73. So here you can see. 73 modulus 10 means how much? Uh, 3. Is it clear? So here R is how much? 3. And sum is how much? 2. 2 plus 3 is how much? 5. Is it 5. So here you can check. So now number is how much? 73. 73 by 10. Here you can say 73 by 10. How much? Uh, 7. So here number is how much? 7. Right. Now i is how much? 4. Here you can see. Right. 4 less than equals to 4. True. Enter. If 4 double equals to 2. False. 4 double equals to 3. False. Come outside. Now number is how much? 7. 7 by 10. Is it clear? How much? 0. Right. And i is how much? 5. So 5 less than equals to 4. Condition is false. Come outside. Print the sum. Here the sum is how much? 5. I hope you understood. Let us see the program. Let us uh, check the output. Here you can see. Sum of middle digits. That is 3 plus 2. How much? 5. Right. So in this video we discussed about uh, program to find the sum of first digit and last digit and program to find the sum of middle digits. In the same manner you can write the programs to find the sum of the squares of the first digit and last digit. Similarly, sum of the squares of the middle digits. You try that program as homework. Thank you. Have a nice day.